Garrick, thank you so much for being here. Oh. Both Matt and I, we read your story and it really captured our hearts, didn't yeah. it? Thank Amanda's, you for having me. Amanda's been looking through your drawings. <laughs> yeah, so, so beautiful. Just to set the scene then, really, uh, Gary, you started doing this doodle diary three years ago and since your wife died yeah. back in October, um, you're now detailing what family's like, family, family life is like coping without a book. Can we just take you back yeah. to three years ago when you actually started drawing initially and, yeah. and why you started drawing? Well, I'm, I'm an animator and director professionally anyway, so I'm drawing all day every day, but for mm. the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years, it's all been digital, you know, you're drawing on a tablet and all that sort of thing. Mm. And I missed the scratch of pen on paper. Right. Mm. Right. Uh, so I thought, I need to start drawing properly again, um, but I can't just go, I think I'll do a drawing, what shall I do? I wanted to give myself a discipline. Mm. So I said, right, I'm going to do a diary. Every night before I go to bed, I'm going to do one drawing and it's going to be something that happened that day, funny, sad, whatever. Uh, I'll give myself the challenge, take no more than about 15 minutes, uh, no pre-drawing, just straight in with the pen, and just give myself that discipline. So for like a year and a bit, year and a half, I suppose it was, mm -hmm. um, you know, it just went along me doing silly things the kids did, stuff we did together, the occasional political one, which I've stopped doing now. <laughs> um, and, Joy, and Joy would be with you. And, and, and yeah, we'd sit on the sofa, I'd be watching TV, we'd be watching TV, and I'd sort of sit there doing it on my lap, and then I'd go, what do you think? And she'd look at that, and we'd have a laugh, and put it down, go to bed, you know, and that would be our day. Next morning, the kids might come down, what was today's doodle, Dad? And we'd show them that and yeah. we'd have a laugh and they'd go, look at you, Ben. And, uh, and how, yeah. did you, how did you manage to carry on then after Joy died? I kind of had to. It's, it's, it's who I am and it's, 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 it's what we lived it, you know, it's part of who I am now. And I missed, the only day I missed was the day she died because I was, I was actually in Vancouver when she got taken ill, so I, was, I had to fly back early, but right. she died while I was in the air. Okay. Uh, so I didn't do a drawing that day. So when I landed and we found out, because I didn't know she was dead until I you know, got home. Uh, so I did a drawing that day, but all I could draw was a broken heart. I couldn't think of anything else to draw. Um, but from then on, the day finished the next day and I thought, I've, I owe her this to carry on. Mm -hmm. And also, drawing for me is, is a process. It, it's like a little pressure cooker. If you felt something, some grief, yeah. just putting it down, let that little bit of grief go. Mm -hmm. And, and you, it's out there and you can go, right, that's out. Yeah. And if something funny happened, you want to remember that. And, you know, because funny stuff still happens even when, you know, you've had something tragic. And often really funny things happen, you know. And, but I wanted to remember everything. Can you just tell us about Joy? Uh, yes. She? Um, <laughs> she was tall, six foot. I'm five seven, so that was... <laughs> uh, she was tall, beautiful, kind, funny, mm. talented, amazing mum. Person that always had a smile for everybody. Um, I was just really lucky. Yeah, we had 19 years together.